People in Knox County are mourning the loss of a longtime public figure this evening. This after authorities found Knox County Councilman Steve Tace dead near his home. It happened Wednesday in what authorities have ruled a tree trimming accident, and some of Tace's closest colleagues are reflecting on his life. New Sands Eric Stidman learned more about the longtime county council member's life. Eric, what are you hearing? Mike Patrice, this is a very sad time for lots of people. Steve Tay served on the Knox County Council for more than a decade. And prior to that, he served as a teacher in the Vincennes Community School Corporation. Now, authorities found Tay dead yesterday, about 100 yards from his home. An autopsy rele report released today shows Tay died from blunt force trauma to the head due to a fallen tree limb. Tay's County Council colleagues called his death a tragedy. They say Tace leaves behind a big void for the people he served. Steve was hardworking, he was passionate. Uh, he uh, did everything from not only serving on the county council, not only being a teacher, but he was also involved with the soil and water conservation district. He was also a driver for the VA van because he cared about veterans. He was involved with just about every aspect of, of Knox County government, Knox County culture of Knox County society and and his shoes are huge and and really just can't be filled. I think the best word for Steve Tace was would be happy warrior. He was um, he was willing to fight fight the fights that that needed to be done but in a polite and a respectful manner and um, you know sitting beside him throughout those meetings uh, was always glad to have him near me and um, he could always bring a smile to your face even after maybe a heated meeting. Funeral arrangements for Tace are pending at this time. Knox County Councilman Steve Tace was 57 years old. Mike? Thank you very much, Eric.